there it is that is the finished card and i hope that you've enjoyed this video and if so then don't forget to click that thumbs up button give me a like leave me a comment come back and see me again sometime soon but for now thanks for joining me once again and i'll see you sometime soon bye bye I've protected my work surface with a craft mat. I have my piece of Whisper White card, which is uh, three and a half by five and a quarter. I have my re inkers in Granny Apple Green, Balmy Blue, and Daffodil Delight, and I've got a sponge for each of those colours. And I have some of this. This is uh, glycerin or glycerine. Uh, you get it wherever they sell cake decorating supplies and you can also get it from the pharmacist it will be a lot cheaper if you get it from the pharmacist or you can go on to uh, ebay and buy a big bottle of it um, it's not expensive at all and it's kind of a magic liquid and what it will do is make my ink run that much more smoothly so i'm going to start off with some daffodil delight reinker uh, and i could have used my uh, I could have used my ink pad rather than a re-inker and it would have been just the same and if I'd done that I would have just smushed the, the ink pad face down onto my craft mat. So I'm picking up the ink and I'm working it well into my sponge and I'm going to have a piece of scrap paper to protect my Whisper White card otherwise I will get my mucky fingerprints all over it. All right. And what the glycerine does is it kind of makes the ink go on an awful lot smoother. Okay, so I think that's enough of the, the Daffodil Delight. So let's have a bit of the balmy blue. And just a spot of glycerine. Okay, I've decanted the glycerine into uh, into this little bottle. I'm not sure whether I said that. Let me turn this round. Let's have some of the balmy blue. And it just goes on so, so smoothly. I mean, it's crazy. And there's like no work at all involved in doing this. This is just so, so easy. And you see how intense the colour is. I'm just going to blend that out there because it's rather a harsh line, which I don't much like. Okay, and last of all, we have the Granny Apple Green. And I'm just going to leave the colour on my sponges. The sponges will have picked up a bit of glycerine, but that means the next time I use them, uh, my colours are going to flow very nicely for me and blend. And here we go. Okay, I'm just going to keep working these colours until I get the effect I want and then I'm going to set my card aside for the ink to dry. I'm going to do one more thing to this card before I put it on one side. I'm going to spray some water into the palm of my hand and I'm just going to flick a few drops onto the card. I hope some of them are hitting the card. Yes they are. And then I'm going to take, this is a microfiber towel, and uh, blot them away. Yeah, I need a bit more than that, I think. That's more like it. Just blot it away. Okay. And now I can put that on one side uh, for the ink to dry.
I'm going to use this die and this die from the Sunshine Wishes set and I'm going to use some Whisper White card. I'm going to go over to the Big Shot, cut those out and I will be right back. You may have noticed that uh, this card is not the same piece as was in the earlier shot and that is because that piece met with an accident when I spilled my tea over it. So uh, I had to uh, quickly redo, uh, uh, redo my colour blending and uh, this time though I, um, I kind of sprayed the water as a sort of mist rather than putting big dollops like I did before. I just took my spray gun, held my card at a distance and went sh -sh 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 and sprayed on it, just like that. All right, so that's had uh, plenty of time for the ink to dry. And now I'm just loosely, I'm not using any adhesive at this point, I'm just loosely placing my die cut pieces of Whisper White. And I've got uh, Love Sending and, and, and Hugs from the Sunshine Sayings. And I'm just kind of placing those where I want them to be. And this is the wonderful thing about the Stamparatus because once I've got them where I want them, I can just pick them up like so, move those pieces out of the way and uh, ink these up with my Memento Tuxedo Black. And ink. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. Um, yeah, this card is turning out to be um, a little bit of a struggle because uh, I've already had to do the backer once, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, I've managed to get ink onto my background card, but that's not uh, a big deal. Uh, and now I've uh, stamped my sentiment upside down. So. Uh, Let's go about recovering all of this, shall we? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my uh, matting layer down, my background mat. Uh, and originally I was going to use Granny Apple Green for this, uh, but it didn't actually look all that good. Um, I had to go with Daffodil Delight, wasn't too happy with that one either. But I think this works really well. This is Lemon Lime Twist. All right, so I'm going to glue my backer down onto my card. Hopefully the right way up. And I've trimmed these pieces so that uh, my base card is Thick Whisper White and it's four inches wide by uh, 11 and a half and it's scored to folded at five and three quarters so my lemon lime twist layer was three and three quarter inches by five and a half and this layer was three and a half inches by five and a quarter so it's a quarter of an inch smaller every time and it just leaves that little bit of a of a border which looks super good right okay so I've re-stamped the word hugs onto a scrap piece of the Lemon Lime Twist card. I've trimmed it down and I've given it a, a fishtail end, sort of banner end, that's what I think of it. And I'm just going to cover over the offending <laughs> piece. And with any luck, it'll look like I meant it to be there. Okay, so for my delicate die cuts, I'm going to spread some... Uh, glue on the back of my hand. Now I know there are people out there that like to use sponges for this and if you have um, sensitive skin uh, I would recommend being very careful. I have skin like rhinoceros hide and speaking of my skin by the way um, uh, this is covering up where I burned myself as you can see it's still pretty red. It has all healed but it's not very pretty, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm covering it up while I'm, uh, while I'm filming. Okay, so same thing with my scribbly flower. I am just dabbing it into the adhesive, deciding where I want it, and I'm just popping it down around about 
over there and uh, do you know what i think that's it hi everybody it's karen here from tempestcolor.co.uk and thank you very much for joining me today uh today's card is inspired by one that i saw when i was browsing the internet but unfortunately i didn't see uh, a name for the person who originated it so if i'm uh, casing you thank you very very much for the inspiration and i hope you like my version <laughs> 